Hello, my name is Kaz Kasozi, and I'm here to introduce to you the Major 13th Court. This lesson shows you all the structures in the Major 13th Court. The Major 13th Court is based on a mode called the Lydian mode. You can use this mode as a basis for improvisation when playing over the chord. The fourth degree of the mode is raised a half step from fa to fi. Most chords are built in thirds. That means you skip every other note in the mode to create the chord. The major 13th chord is an extended chord. This means that it goes beyond the octave. The octave is the eighth note. After that, the notes repeat again. The notes above the octave are called chord extensions. Look at the diagram below. They add color and complexity to the chord. Now let's hear the chord sung in thirds using the numbers followed by the full chord. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. As you can hear, it has a rich and complex sound. This is because there are many chords contained within it. Now, we will look at all the chords you can find inside the major 13th chord. First of all, there are five alternating major and minor triads. We call them triads because they contain three notes. The major triad sounds bright and the minor is softer and sweeter. Now, let's hear the triads sung in numbers on the video. One, three, five, three, one. Oh, three, five, seven, five, three. Oh, five, seven, nine, seven, five. Oh, seven, nine, eleven, nine, seven. Oh, nine, eleven, eleven, nine. The major 13th chord also contains four alternating major and minor 7th chords. We call them 7th chords because the last note is the 7th, like in C major 7th below. Now let's hear the 7th chords within the major 13th chord on the video. One, three, five, seven, five, three, one. Oh, three, five, seven, nine, seven, five, three. Oh, five, seven, nine, eleven, nine, seven, five. Oh, seven, nine, eleven, eleven, nine, seven. Oh, The major 13th chord also contains a sequence of five sets of perfect fifth. The fifth is the interval between the first and last note of a triad. Now let's hear the chain of fifth on the video. One, five, three, seven, five, nine, seven. These fifth can also be sung together. There are five of them in the major 13th chord. They are bi chords because they only have two notes as opposed to triads which have three. Now let's hear the fifth sung as bi chords on the video. One, five, uh, three, seven, uh, five, 
nine, ah, uh, seven, eleven, ah, uh, nine, thirteen, ah. Uh. Up until now, we have only built chords stacked in thirds. You can also stack this fifth on top of each other to make a chord that sounds very beautiful. There are two stacks of fifth in the major 13th chord. The first stack starts on the root and has four notes. The second stack starts on the third and has three notes. When you put them together, you have the whole major 13th chord again. Now let's hear these stacks of fifth. One, five, nine, thirteen, uh, three, seven, eleven, uh, 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 uh. Last of all, Let's hear the whole major 13th chord again, and then we will sing it a whole step higher and return to the original chord again. Uh. 